everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rosie. Please feel free to subscribe or add me on Instagram. I will put a link below. And um, I thought I would do a minimalist wardrobe update. I did a quite a lengthy video transitioning from my summer, my winter to summer. And this time I thought I would do my summer to winter. But I'm not going to show you all my summer clothes. I'm just going to show you what is in my winter wardrobe at the moment. My style is very basic, I wear a lot of t-shirts. About a year ago I stopped buying as many clothes. Um, a few years ago I was so guilty of over-purchasing and then about a year ago I really started to want to reduce my carbon footprint and I found that one way of doing that quite effectively was to minimise buying clothes and um, I still do buy clothes but I buy them secondhand if I get bored of something then I can just give it back to charity and get something new from charity. Um, I really enjoy buying from charity shops and secondhand, online, eBay, that kind of thing. And I love knowing that I'm not contributing to fast fashion and all the devastation that that causes to our planet. The other reason I don't love to have so many clothes, or this just applies to every area of my life, is because my husband and I moved here a year and a half ago, and we don't know how long we'll be here. We have moved like six times since we've been married, um, and we, so in the last seven years, and we just like to feel free so that we can go easily to the next place as a family that we feel we are called to. Um, at the moment that is South London, um, who knows what the future holds, but anyway, I will get into showing you my basic winter wardrobe. I'm going to just zoom in when I love it. That's my face. Okay, so this side of the wardrobe here, which you can't really see, is my husband's. We've got all his shirts and work clothes um, hung up. He has his t-shirts in our chest of drawers. Um, I This is mostly everything I own. Obviously one or two things are in the wash. I am wearing a very simple grey t-shirt and like a jersey midi like pencil skirt type thing. Um, and yeah, I will get started. One thing I should say is that um, I like to... Um, kind of Marie Kondo my stuff so I have um, dresses, jumpers, skirts, shirts, tees I try and go from long to short or heavy to light-ish I'm not that anal about it so first I just have this plain black basic tee from Simply Stock Shop plain black t-shirt next I have this oatmeal t-shirt from Next with lace here. This was new from Next and I've had it for like four years and I still love it. Next is a long white t-shirt. In the winter I literally just want to wear these under every hoodie, every jumper I can find because it's very, very cold. I live in the UK and it's freezing. I have this in a grey and a dusty pink as well. They are both in the wash. Next I have this little checked blouse which is grey, dark grey and white checks and I really really love this. I love it tucked into um, like a midi A-line skirt. Next, this is one that I'm not really sure about. Um, I got it in a charity shop because I the colour just like spoke to me. I'm so, I don't know why to say it like that, spoke to me. Um, I am so into blush pinks at the moment that this is kind of more of a salmon and it's really huge. Um, it's a men's shirt. So I'm just not sure about it. I'm going to try and make it work. I might need to like do some kind of DIY things. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know if you think this is vile. Oh man, this needs an iron. A basic white um, shirt which has got a pocket on each boob. Not sure how flattering that is on me. Um, and then I have another grey shirt that needs an iron. Then this, if you've watched any of my like haul videos, you would have seen this. It's a long like shirt dress. I like that it's got just like a flat rounded collar with no collar. And um, a little t-shirt and it's got pockets which is just so comfy. 
Then I have two of these A-line midi skirts. This has got like, I think I put it in the wash with tissue. I need to give it a clean. But um, this is a navy one and then I have a black and white striped one that I wear to like Christmas parties or sometimes I just wear it like to a mum group or to a coffee shop or whatever. Um, and I really like these with jumpers tucked in or like a baggy t-shirt tucked in. Um, next is this long um, khaki dress and it's got like a white detail with zips. Um, very minimal, very me, baggy, covers up all my lumps and bumps, I really like that. This is a thin cardigan that I wore mostly in the summer. I wasn't sure whether to keep it in my summer or winter um, like bag, but of clothes. But um, I think my style's kind of changed since I got this. Like it's a little bit like preppy or I don't know. But I was wearing this when I gave birth to Ezra or like in certainly when I was in early labor and it just reminds me of that so much. I don't want to get rid of it. That was such a happy experience for me because I had a natural birth after a cesarean, so I just want to keep every, every memory I can about that. Um, this is an Aztec print jumper. It's black, white and grey and I go through seasons of loving this and not, so I've kept it. Um, and I think it might be one of the first things to go along with that pink shirt if I was to do a declutter. I have this Packjoy jumper. Packjoy is a record label um, that my friend made and my friend, my bestie, is signed with and I just thought it would be really cool to support them and their business so I bought one of their jumpers. Next is a grey roll neck. Can you tell I love the grey? I love it tucked into a skirt or jeans um, and boots for a casual autumnal look. Then I have this mustard um, bat wing jumper, but then it comes, tucks in here. So the sleeves are really wide there. And then it um, has like quite small cuffs and it's a mustard and black. Um, and um, this was the, uh, one of the only new things I've bought this season and I really like it. This, my trusty gray snuggly cardi my grey tasseled poncho. I've had this for eight years and still going strong. It's only from New Look. I think it was about £17. These are a pair of smart-ish like black cigarette trousers. I really like those. I need to wear those more. I wear them anytime I need to look smart. I have, by the way, for trousers, I don't have them hanging. I have them down in a trolley down here. I have two pairs of black jeans and one pair of um, torn like baggy mom jeans um, and that is all. This is my newest purchase, I've still got the label on because I'm quite unsure, but this was from a charity shop and it is a mid-length shift dress in pleather. Now I made sure it's pleather because I don't want to be wearing dead animals and um, I, it looks really nice on I think this is going to be something that I can wear to Christmas parties or wear in the day with a jumper chucked on top. Not child friendly because I can't really bend over in it. This I really wasn't sure whether to keep in my wardrobe for winter because it's summery, it looks like a tent, but it's a um, pale grey, a beautiful pale grey colour. This is just my favourite colour. Um, and it's got lace on the top and it's linen and it's so light and floaty but um, I kind of didn't want to like screw it all up and chuck it in a bag um, because it's linen and it would take years to decrease if I didn't iron it so I'm just going to keep this in my wardrobe I just like to look at it Christmas party staple I've had this like 10 years and it's from Topshop it's got a couple of sequins missing but I don't care I feel like a bit like a fish in it but I like it this dress is from Forever 21. I wear it to any excuse to a party, to a wedding, to a christening. It's just like my ideal occasion dress. Um, and I love the colour, I love the detail. Yes, love it. Then this is a Cabbages and Roses dress. I need to try this out again. I think I need to gently iron it or get it dry cleaned, try and relax it. Because I didn't realise it was dry cleaned only and I washed it and it's gone a bit like tight. So um. 
So, that is absolutely everything in my entire wardrobe for winter. I have um, a chest of drawers here which has underwear and tank tops and pyjamas in it and that's all. So, that is what it all looks like in the wardrobe. Um, as I said, that's my husband's stuff there. There we have my winter wardrobe. It's very basic, it's very minimal, and um, that's how I like it. Just makes my life easier. I'm a bum of two, I'm obviously very busy, and I like to have things um, that, that just all match together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it wasn't too lengthy, and I would love to see you in my next video, so please subscribe. Feel free if you want to see a try on, like I could just do like a minute of me trying on everything, um, all edited together, then I would really happily do that. I think that would be quite fun to film. So yes, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Love you lots, bye!